everyone, how are you today? Are you ready to do a little bit of a circle time? And we have our knowledge and understanding today, and we have our sense of touch. Okay, so first I have my red arrow. Where do I put my red arrow? What day of the week is it today? So let's start by saying the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I have a song, do you remember? So first, today is Thursday. So I'm going to put the arrow here. Thursday. Today is Thursday. Did I say Thursday? Okay, and we have our song. Are you ready? You definitely know this. Today for our Thursday's Knowledge and Understanding, we have a box for us, our sensory box. And we have the sense today, touch. So, I'm going to ask you, what when we touch something, what part of our body do we use? Do you remember? Do we use our head to touch? No. Do we use our feet to touch something? Good do. <laughs> But what do we mainly use when we touch something? Our hands. Good job, everybody. So today, I have my sensory box. We are going to see what community workers, remember we have a nurse, we have a vet, police officer, what, uh, we have a farmer, what some community workers use, what they feel, what they touch every day. We have a lot of different things. Oh, so first I'm going to show you the big thing. I have a rain jacket. A rain jacket. So this is more of a material that you can use in the rain. Have you ever touched a rain jacket before? And what com what community workers can use a rain jacket? We have police can use a rain jacket. The ones from our board, uh, fire officers use rain jackets. Yes, and even farmers can use rain jackets. And many other community workers, you can use it if it's really really rainy. Lots of community workers can use it to protect us. Paramedics use some kind of rain jacket with this material. Maybe you guys can let me know what other community workers, what, what, when, what they use when it's really rainy and see if they touch this type of material, rain jacket. It protects from the rain. I'm gonna leave this here. What other things do we touch? Depending what community you work as you are. So I only have a few examples. I have pictures. So here I have three different types of pictures. So I have goggles and snorkels. So divers use this. Yes, they touch us a lot, which is can be quite smooth, quite soft, and always kind of wet, because if it's always underneath. Uh, I also have a whistle. 
So some community workers use a whistle. And what does a whistle feel like? Have you ever touched a whistle before? It can feel smooth. It has a funny shape. You can see it there. And also I have a thermometer. And this, who touches a thermometer out of the community workers from our board? Doctor, a vet and a nurse, they touch. A th and actually recently police officers, they and many, many more community workers do. Touch a thermometer. <clears throat> Have you ever touched a thermometer before? What does it feel like? It can feel long, it can feel smooth, it can feel like plastic. Yes. Whistles can be metal or they can be plastic. So those are things they touch. Also, I have a bakery. I have a brownie packet. And I was thinking of the community workers as chefs. So, the community workers also include people who work with food. So, the things that they touch, they touch a lot of things. They touch a lot of food. So, they can touch bakery things like brownies, bread. Have you ever touched a piece of bread? What does it feel like? Which chefs touch many different types of food. They can touch sticky food, slimy food. So that's an example of things that they touch. They can touch wrappers or they can touch the actual food. Let's see. Oh, I have a piece of paper. So this I put this because many people touch, many community workers touch paper or pages from a book. So we have community workers who touch a lot of paper, can be teachers, can be librarians, many people can be, all of these people can be a doctor, they can touch a lot of paper. Have you ever touched paper before? What does it feel like? Does it feel smooth, feel bumpy? What does it feel like? We also have, as is an example, same with the bakery, I have put an apple in here because <clears throat> we have a farmer as an example. So they can touch an apple, we can do oranges when they go in their farm. Also, I didn't, we have mud and soil, and some people work, and community workers work through mud and soil like farmers. And these are <clears throat> a few examples of things that community workers can touch and what they feel. So there's plastic, food, this material for a raincoat when it's really cold outside and really rainy and they have to work outside. Wow, maybe you guys can let me know what other community workers, what they touch in their day-to-day -day job. Okay, maybe you can let me know what type of things vets touch as they touch dogs and cats. What do they can touch fur? Maybe you can tell me more equipment that they touch. Okay, well, thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you soon, everybody. Bye.